So now that we got banned from driving an F-150 Lightning, <laughs> we were kind of thinking, actually we were thinking for a little while here about doing like a pickup truck retrofit. So many people have been reaching out saying that like, hey, you've been doing retrofits for semi trucks. What about doing one for a pickup? And the basic principle is the exact same. We take an electric axle, put it onto a truck. We take a motor, put a little generator on it. And we were thinking that make it a kit that you can kind of just drop it. A set of axles where the toolbox goes on the back of the truck can be a battery pack, control gear. You drop that in, you wire the axles, you run the wiring in, you run in your generator on the front, and we just package a prefab kit that either people can do themselves or that we can partner with some shops, little local mom and pa shops, yeah, stuff like design it. Wick. Exactly. Yeah. They can, we can bring them up to their shop. We'll train them up on how to install them. They can take those kits, do the sales of the pickup trucks. We just make a really, really reliable truck, reliable electric pickup truck that can be easy to work on, easy to service, relatively affordable that yeah. anybody can have an electric. So you don't need to go out and buy a new F-150 Lightning. If you got an F-350 truck that you like, an old, old body style Ford, you take that truck, you retrofit it, and now you got a vehicle that has tons of high power. Like I love the fact that that F-150 Lightning, it was a torque monster. Like that thing hauled, the but I don't, too oh, was amazing. the regen the braking, yeah. like pulling a trailer with the electric torque, the whole back with yeah. the electric torque, but instead of the range, you just put like, Look at this truck. This F-350 has yeah. got a cat in it. Yeah. Let's put exactly. a little generator on a little tiny cat that goes yeah. in the back of an old Ford, an old Dodge, an old pickup. Really any truck that's got solid axles. We yeah, can't really deal with that. It's got solid axles. That's the goal. Start axle, with a one ton yeah, yeah. axle. Well then you got a service truck. Volt, a service truck. Uh, an ambulance, BC ambulance, ambulance service yeah. reached out to us. They were interested in like hey guys, can you do a retrofit on an ambulance? Well, that's a one-ton axle. Yeah. Well, if we can do a one-ton axle for an ambulance, we can do it for this. And maybe we can work with some suppliers, design this kit. Because one of the issues we've got right now too is that all of our guys in the shop, dad's gone back to working at the sawmill because yeah. we're doing our designing and our engineering and our testing. And like, Dan, the mechanic needs something to do. Right. Old Luke here wants something to do. <laughs> yeah. He's eager to come on yeah. and start with us on like a project. Yeah, exactly. He's a pickup expert. Dan's nuts about old pickups. Yeah. Ray needs something to do. It, a lot of our guys, to lower our costs, are like, hey guys, we'll go back, call us when you need us. But if we could do something like this, people are asking for, I think we can really do a better job of making a practical, work ready electric truck with huge torque on the front and rear axles yeah, like it'll be they'll be four by fours you can have just rear drive if you want but a lot of guys are going to go for that dana 60 front end but anyways let me know what you think and uh and what do you guys want to see in a pickup retrofit how eager are you i got my high vids on so which eye did you want me to use he actually just got his driver's license uh oh now he's backing in the stall i got, I got my out just hang on. Everything's going to be fine. This is going well. <laughs> this is good. <laughs> We're off to a good start. Drove the wrong way down a one way. First way Made of parking. Yeah. Yeah. Wrong turn coming out, then the wrong lane leaving. He didn't clarify what eye to use, so I just went for it. How confident are you feeling on this about this drive? Myself or this guy here? <laughs> Who are you talking to? I'm confident if it put up with Chase, it'll put up with me. Am I confident we'll get back in one piece? I'm gonna be honest, I'm not a big Ford guy, so I couldn't tell you. Won't turn right off the stop. Wow, that, I, I, no BS, that is impressive. Did you uh, hit the brakes? No, I haven't Haven't gone anywhere near the brakes. Isn't that awesome? Jump it, yep. <laughs> oh, shit. We're just uh, test driving the Lightning. This, this thing is wicked. Oh, you're the people driving. This is like natural for you. Right? Hey, uh, good news, buddy. Um, our biz other business partners are gonna be your test drive right after us at 1040. <laughs> No promises on the truck. He's excited. Yes. <laughs> the bundle of joy. No, Why do no, you no, put no, normal no. back up? I want to see what tow haul is like. The whole point is to find out, right? I won't mess with the locking oh, death deal. The How's that? You let me have tow haul. I won't <laughs> F around with the locking <laughs> death. Deal? Yeah, yeah. When you're not looking, he's going to F around the locking death. Look at her. She's harder and faster. <laughs> He's like, I'm not falling for it. <laughs> He's like, dude, I'm not into chicks. <laughs> <laughs> the look of fear on his face right now, like I can hear him thinking, oh, what? Like, help me make it. Does it feel nice? He's like, oh, He's like, at least it's 20 minutes. Nope, our business partners are coming right behind us. This jam pack is boring full of Edison. It almost looks like a Gen set. It's towing. Is that so you just increase the range? You just tow your Jenny with you? <laughs>
That's fancy. I mean, it would work. It's actually a pretty good idea. Like a built in generator in a truck? Someone should do that. Yeah. Yes, someone should do that. Idea, someone should actually. put a generator in an electric vehicle. Like an onboard self charger. Or like a diesel range extender. Whoa! <laughs> I love that. Yeah, like really whistled, dude. Like, yeah, like, I felt like we almost took off there. Like, oh, yeah. in, like, you want to know something? Honestly, that was about that much throttle. Oh, yeah. Nowhere near, like, seriously, that was. Like about that model. much pedal? I, I was pretty yeah. convinced that my 6.6 liter LBZ would be able to blow the doors off one of these. I don't know anyone. Yeah. No. I thought my I Cummins know. would pull harder out of the hole. Sadly, and I don't like F-150s. I think they're junk. But this thing pulls twice as hard yeah. out of the basement. Oh. It's insane. The like, torque of electric is insane. It's right there. It's from at rest. Like, like th it's why I get tell so many people to drive an electric truck. Like, take it out, see it, yeah. and then the... Once you do this, you're like, oh yeah, I know why that makes sense for a logging trucker a little bit. I know why you want to be able to put that power to the wheels. On the one test drive we did in Vancouver on an electric show like four years ago before COVID. Yeah. And on the one, I drove a... Uh, I drove a Chevy Volt on a test drive and then I went in and I hopped into the uh, Nissan Leaf. And I'm like, is this faster than the Volt? And he's like, yeah, absolutely. It's faster than the Volt. I'm like, well, we set a... Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. And they're like, wait. <laughs> yeah. Brakes work amazing. <laughs> All new Ford Lightning, EV. Check it out. That's right. Electric Expo Center. They let you take it for a test drive. So we wait take this lead for a test drive. I'm like, is it faster than a Volt? And he's don't like, take it off anymore. Don't take it off anymore. I'm not. I'm not. not. Okay. I said I will wait. I'm not taking off anything. Just cruising. It's, it's, it's good. It's good. It's good. Cruising. We're not doing it here. Big just easy cruising. makes it big difficult sometimes. No, it's ridiculous, guys. We're just cruising. Yeah, yeah. Not taking anything off. I told you, I'm not taking anything off. Just cruising. Right. I'm gonna turn right. Give me a second here, bud. Okay. It's not like we drove into a building. Relax. Yeah, you just brake check that uh, light. Oh. Yeah, I stopped okay. in time. It's not like yeah. I blew through it and hit it. Yeah, you almost blew through. It's fine. I just love driving around with you guys. <laughs> Thank you. <It's> so much. <laughs> <It's fine. laughs> This is a fantastic way to spend my morning. I told you you'd like electric. Uh, this is... <laughs> Selling the Dodge, getting the third. No, that's not gonna work. <laughs> Those Edison motor guys. Uh, meanwhile, that, the next second half of Edison climbs in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the crew change. I already had a heart attack because I came in hot to a light. You did. You super came in way too hot. You came in too hot on that light. Yeah, a little supersonic. That was, that was a little too much. Uh, my bad. Though. Underestimated the acceleration. Yeah. And the regen. Well, if it wasn't for the regen, I would have kept going and just run the yellow. And the only reason I stopped was because of the regen. Oh, you put half your battery back in right there. Yeah, literally. I'm not saying it wasn't my bad. <laughs> we got her hauled down. Nobody got impacted. It's all good. It's all good. <laughs> Remember, don't hit like these guys. Off, one like. <laughs> don't hit anybody. No. You only got one side. I'm going to go right here. All right. And let everybody out. 